Okay, so what I'd like to do is replicate the World of Warcraft buff transparency when it resonates inwards and outwards of its alpha. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a buff, I'll try to that, set it to center, I'll put it in the middle of the screen so everyone can see it. Center of the screen, you know, zero, zero, and make it larger. That's big enough. So, with that selected, I'm going to go Window, Animation, put this into my little section over here, separate my game window for now. So, with that selected, I would like to go Create an Animator and an Animation. Let's just call it Buff Transparency Animation. Okay, so because this prefab of the buff has a canvas group, we're going to add a property which is the canvas group alpha. It is going to have 100 frames. We'll select the first frame, and because it is recording, the alpha is 1. We're going to go halfway through the animation, which is 50. Make a keyframe. That keyframe is selected. Make the alpha transparent to 0.5. Go to the next frame, which seems to be 60. So I will delete that frame. I'll set the frame to 100. Create another keyframe. Set the alpha back to 1. Reset the animation position. Press play. And this alpha transparency is animating between 1, 0.5 and back to 1. But, for my liking, it's going a little bit fast. So, what I'm going to do is select the buff, open up the animator window, drag that back there so we can see, select the actual animation controller, which in this case is named buff1, and set the speed to, let's say, 0.5. If we go back to game, the buff has that controller and it will play that animation, buff transparency animation. And it goes a bit slower. Perfect. 